Can you train MMA recreationally at 40 years old and greatly benefit from it? The answer is yes, and today I will present to you Edson Santiago, my student from Brazil, who has been training MMA and mostly Thai boxing with me at first for the past three and a half years. Coming up. My name is Edson Santiago. I'm 40 years old. I'm a diplomat. I'm working in the Embassy of Brazil in Serbia, and I live here in Serbia for three years. I've been training with Mark for the last three years, first two years we trained striking and then we switched to MMA and it, that was the best decision I've made. I always want to train uh, MMA or martial arts but never had the opportunity. Although I'm coming from Brazil, I started here in Serbia, that's, that's funny and, and I think it, I, I really enjoyed that. Uh, I decided I want, to, I want to do something but I don't like gyms, I don't like running. Let's go to martial arts. Maybe, maybe I like it, maybe not. Uh, people say I was, maybe thought I was too old, but I don't think so. I think you can start at any age. Uh, if you like it, just go for it. And, I, and MMA, I, it was a great surprise and because the, this mixing of all styles, I think that's very challenging. And it's very good for the body, very good for the mind. I really like that. I think the benefits are great. Yeah, if you have, if you find a good coach, a good gym, uh, you don't want to kill yourself here. You want to improve, improve your, your health. And I think that's a, a big point for me. Uh, I'm completely different guy after three years. Uh, you start to focus on, on dieting, on, on your body, on body strengthening, and you have no injuries if you train properly, if, if good, if in good company, uh, if a good coach. Uh, and I think that's, that's, the, that's a very good point when you, if you decide to start training. Uh, don't, don't be afraid if you are above 40, if you are 30. Uh, if, you, if you like that, just go for it. As I said, we started striking, but then I entered the world of MMA and it, it, it was great because it's so different, so many different styles you have to focus on your stance, on takedowns. And when you start doing ground fight, for instance, it's something I never thought about. Although Brazilian Jiu Jitsu is so, so famous, and I started here and I said, whoa, that's so great. Uh, I'm now really, ex really excited about wrestling, about BJJ, for instance. <laughs> and uh, you know, go back to Brazil, I'll, I'll keep doing that there. And, and I think that that would be great. <laughs> I really like students like Edson because he never complains, he always does what he's told. Uh, he, whatever I say to him, it's always yes. Edson, let's do 100 sprawls, yes, or 100 burpees, that is. Edson, let's do this amount of push-ups, yes. It's always yes, 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 yes. I love it, and that's why he improved so much. So, it, it's a little bit emotional for me because I've been training him for the past couple, couple of years, three years, actually, three and a half maybe, and now he's leaving. Uh, it's, it's such a great thing when you, when you take a person from not knowing any martial arts to a point where he became good. He became actually so good that when we spar striking, he delivers punches to me. Nice. And I'm not going easy on him. Like, we don't strike very hard, but I really try to dominate him. Still, he gets some punches through. The other day, he even took me down with a double leg takedown, a beautiful double leg takedown, perfect timing. So it's, it's really great for me as a coach to see a person that has not had any martial arts experience to now being able to, to do stuff with his body, to be able to execute all those techniques. And of course, this is, this is not the only thing that's important. The point for me as a coach is to provide my students a great martial arts experience, for them to experience the martial arts the way it should be experienced not to have too many injuries. When I say too many injuries, I mean, uh, I, I preferably no injuries at all. And I do whatever I can for injuries not to happen. But it's a martial art, it's, it's a combat sport, and injuries do happen, let's be honest. But if, you, if, you, if you're reasonable about it, if you train your, co uh, your students reasonably, you will have very little injuries. I just wanted to present Edson to you, because if he can do it, at the age of 40, and I have even older students, then you can do it too. 
If you wanted to start training MMA or any other martial arts and you think you're too old, forget it. Just go and train. Find the right coach. Uh, I have a video and I'll link it up here how to find a good coach in your area. Search in Google Maps, see the reviews of the gym, but ultimately you need to come and try maybe a few gyms and see what atmosphere feels best for you, what coaches feel best for you. If you like this video, like it and share it, and you can also subscribe to this channel. And if you'd like a more in-depth MMA training, check out my instructionals. My name is Mark Leichner from MMACoach.net and I will see you again very soon.